I've gotten a number of questions recently where people have wanted to have the new Cubase 9.5 paradigm of automation with curves and whatnot in and working with MIDI continuous controllers. So let's show how you can get this to work. So I'm going to go ahead and just record a quick part of just uh, a chord with some modulation on it. So now that we recorded that, we can double click and look at the part and we may see that by default, you may just see the velocity. But if I want to see all of my continuous controllers, I could actually just go to my controller setup here and just say, show use controller. And then at that point, we could see the modulation. Um, and if I wanted to record additional controllers on top of this part, we could now come over here and let's say my MIDI controller that I have in my desk here, I can spit out uh, controller 16, 17, 18, 19 are general purpose controllers here. So by default, a lot of people can get confused because there's different MIDI recording modes. And I think the default mode for a lot of people is new parts. So if I record my new continuous controllers, then stop, they actually show up as a part that's stacked on top. So if I move it, we still have our first take and this is our second take. If I didn't want that behavior, I'll go ahead and undo that. I'm gonna just choose to merge the MIDI recordings. So now as I record my continuous controllers, my controller, it's gonna be just merged into the same exact part. It's not gonna be replaced. It's not gonna be stacked on top as a new part. So we recorded our new controllers and they're not really set up to change the sound. But when I come here, I could actually click and we'll say show used controllers. And now I could see all my controllers. Now sometimes you may get a little message indicating that you don't have enough space uh, to show all the controllers vertically. So if you just make it taller, you can see how the controllers will kind of just tuck away uh, if you don't have enough vertical space. So again, a lot of people want to have the capability to have this continuous controllers as automation. So I'm gonna select the event here, go to my MIDI menu and under functions, we can say extract MIDI automation. Now what that's gonna do, we can see kind of the outlines here, but I'm gonna open up my automation panel by hitting F6. And then I'm gonna click on show used. And now as automation data, I have all of my continuous controllers here. So if I wanted to draw in a particular line, I could say, okay, let's just come here. I wanted to take just a selection range and let's just increase or decrease that range. I wanted to take this particular point and we'll drop it down and let's put a curve in here. So these are my MIDI continuous controllers that I see accessed directly here. Since this is automation, if we wanted to record, for instance, new modulation data, instead of we have choices whether we want the MIDI continuous controllers to go directly into automation, or if we wanted to go directly into the MIDI part as MIDI continuous controllers. And this is actually set up and defined under the MIDI menu into CC automation setup. So I could defaultly have all my MIDI controllers go straight to automation tracks. And this comes in really handy if you're copying uh, controller data as automation, it could be a little easier. Uh, so I could do that globally, and there's also different merge modes. So I could replace the part range, the last value will continue after being replaced. I could average between the two or just do modulation. So at this point, if I wanted to write in new modulation, instead of recording it as MIDI data, I would just record, I would just arm the track for automation. And as I come here, as I move my modulation wheel, it's just simply adjusting and writing automation instead of 
MIDI data that's in the part. Now, sometimes this works for MIDI continuous controllers, but not all the messages are MIDI continuous controllers. One great example is pitch bend. So if I wanted to add a new pitch bend lane, I could just simply come here and go to more and we'll go to our pad shop and we'll go down to MIDI channel one and then we could select pitch bend there. And at that point, we could now draw in pitch bend. And if I wanted to, again, use my curves and be able to copy little parts over and over again. So I could just kind of come here, select that range. And if I wanted to duplicate just like that throughout the project, it's very, very easy. So you can see that you can set up your MIDI CC automation mode to work entirely in automation or MIDI parts or on a controller by controller basis of how you think it makes more sense to you. So as you can see, you have a lot of flexibility when working with automation and your MIDI continuous controllers in Cubase 9.5. If you have found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.